So I take that back. He was averaging, he was wide receiver six, averaging 19 points per game. He had 21 this game. So he's probably either staying there, going up, or just dropping a little bit. So either way, Hollywood's a wide receiver one right now. Yeah. Nuke comes back. Mm-hmm. It, what's this next that, two weeks? He probably comes back next, after week yeah. six. Yeah. So week seven. Unless there's a and there bye. might be a bye. No, nah, they don't too. have a bye till week thirteen. So what are back we, week seven. What do you think about Hollywood? We could you could rank him. You could buy sell hold him. What do you what do you how do you think this impacts Hollywood Brown? And is there any? Is, would you be trying to get out of Hollywood Brown? No, because he's performing so well and we don't know he i think he's mostly been on that left side which i think is is that's Nuke's, hopkins side. i think that's nuke side get off that side well and maybe I they're like nuke maybe all may, over the place no he does not he's a left um, side guy uh and i think maybe it's like nuke you got to go over here now because you fucked up and now maybe you go over here or maybe they're just like i don't nah, know nuke. yeah now nah, bust your ass better get up there and go. <laughs> see i think hopkins, i fear god yeah and nobody else <laughs> and nobody else I think, <laughs> I you think, that? You, yeah, scuffle, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, gets to do on Patriots maybe. Um, anyway, it was on Hard Knocks, maybe. it was on Hard Knocks. Um, Hollywood saying, is the guy. I, I'm not. We're not. I was never sure right why he fight, kept saying just that. Just to say, I ain't scared of you. I'm the only. That's the only people person I, I fear. It ain't you. Hmm. It ain't you. So, the uh, double finger guns. Hollywood Brown is the guy that you, if he's not on your team, you don't respect him. I, like enough, you don't feel those yeah. points he's scoring. He never gets talked about. He never gets any love. You don't know that he scored twenty points the last couple weeks. 15, 12, 20, 20, 21. Three in a row. Twenty, twenty, twenty. Three twenties in a row. Almost a thirty in one of those. And you don't get that he's. And not, this week oh, easily could have been bad. a thirty. He dropped a big old fucking slant coming across the middle mr ganesh I, 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 I don't he doesn't have the best hands every time i turn to brown on he's dropping a touchdown pass anyway that um he gets open he doesn't he, always reel him in i would like to see the five, five well, 17 targets the week the week before the 10 minutes before kickoff when hopkins is back is when i'm buying brown oh nuke hopkins is back Especially if Nuke Hopkins comes in there and gets a ton of targets, and like Hollywood for some reason didn't get a whole lot going that game, and it just happened to be fairly coincidental. Like the Cardinals don't have enough options for a Nuke to come back and Brown to be not getting targets. Right? They don't have anybody. Else I guess anyway. it's it's mostly I mean, like you got Zach Ertz. It's working from right now how they're using Hollywood. Are they all they are all of a sudden going to move him into the slot, move him right, move him all it around, matter. or it doesn't matter. I mean, sometimes it does. I don't know that it necessarily well, I mean, matters if, with Hollywood, but I mean, fuck, it seems like the only production they ever get is maybe out of that one receiver on the other side. Maybe so maybe it does matter. Collar's head looks. All right. <laughs> Well, that's true. I, I, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter if Kyler can see the field, but uh, he can't see over anybody's head. So <laughs> he uh, speaking of Kyler Murray, you know, I gotta try and pull up that photo. I that feel like uh, suit was so bad. It's better than Joe Burrow's two weeks. No, ago. it was no, not. He's like trying the to be Joe Burrow. Suit, but, oh boy, I'll nah. take the green suit over the flower suit. Do you think the green suit's better than the flower suit? No way, man. Yeah. Mm. That looked like a lesbian politician. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Uh, no, of course not. But I'm just, not. It's, I'm just <laughs> setting the table for you. Sure. <laughs> what did the what, what did the flower suit look like then? I don't even know how how a lesbian politician. <laughs> I got to see the Joe Burrow suit. Anyway, continue. I just I think uh, I think Hollywood Brown is going to be a nice little buy low uh, or buy disrespected when uh, Newt can come in there and uh, oh that Joe Burrow suit is way better. What? way way better i think it's like fit well it's not like whatever the flowers are cool i'm, I'm that, down with it that is disgusting. that double breasted no undershirt see, that just, is disgusting I, see I, i'm okay like if uh, if it was I, if, I, don't, I don't hate that if that I was just the blazer it. i'd be and and solid pants i'd be definitely down with that I don't, the but whole thing's not. a bit much but, but it's not but kyler's out there looking like it looks like a like hillary clinton just walked off of look, air force one looks like somebody had a good time you know that's the color they painted their Mustang in the drag strip. Like Puritan shoes on, like what is that? Puritan shoes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so I don't think uh, I don't think Hollywood is a is a. I'm not running from Hollywood. Is basically I don't I don't see how if if the Cardinals want to be run and gun, then Hollywood's gonna be just fine. How high does Hollywood move up those ranks for you though? This night, I mean, we are, we already had him pretty high. We had him near the Garrett Wilson's moving into this year, 
as Garrett Wilson being a rookie. Mm-hmm. Um, would you trade Hollywood for Garrett Wilson? Um, I would. Got to, right? Yeah. Yeah, I need a little nudge there. Um, does he does he move up Mike Williams? Hollywood. Hollywood, for sure. Um Olave, we've been he's been oh, Olave. Great. Olave? Yeah. Gotta be Olave. Olave and Wilson are studs. But you're but you're taking Hollywood over Wilson. No, I can take no Wilson's fine. You're, you're taking Does it Wilson? help that they're them boys are matched up? They're like no. they came in No. Like like maybe he won't lose that many targets to Nuke. Is Nuke <laughs> coming in there with a green uh match? He up, was probably uh, like, get from by me, dog. Uh, you're <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. Give me some space. Yeah. Give me some the space. bell bottoms too. Everyone's got the skinny I, I jeans don't see on. What's wrong with that suit? What? Uh, <laughs> well, I wear it. I wear it. I've, That's what you should be for Halloween. I'll tell you what, Kyler fucking Murray. I'll get pregame that, Kyler Murray. I'll get in that green suit before I get in that Joe Burrow suit any day of the week. <laughs> not a chance. Yes, sir. I'm not wearing those flowers. I would. I would take. I would trade Hollywood for Garrett Wilson. Yeah. Or no, I would trade Garrett Wilson for Hollywood. You would give away Garrett Wilson for Hollywood. I think so. Yeah. Wow. I'm taking Wilson. Um, and then not Olave this year. Ola- not, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, we're talking dynasty. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking Olave. I, yeah, I can get down with that. Um, how about Dotson? Hollywood. Agreed. Um, Sky Moore. Hollywood. Hollywood. I haven't seen anything out Sky Sky Moore to give it. Traylon on the table right now. Would you trade it on the IR? Hollywood. Hollywood or Traylon? Hollywood. Hollywood. Probably Traylon, but Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get out of that game. Let's go Niners, Panthers. Um, obviously, just another just bad whole whatever the Carolina Panthers have going on. The whole thing just needs to just. Oh, yeah. It's bad. It, Coach it's, fired. He, he's out of here. I told Steve before that game started, I said, if. If this doesn't go well, rule roll is fired. And so what happened to uh, so Baker's hurt? Baker's Baker got hurt during high that, ankle sprain during that game and played it out. He got hurt. It was pretty early. He was limping around. Um, so it's about to be PJ Walker because um, Darnold's hurt too. What's wrong with Darnold? I don't know. He's been on IR and he's not ready for a return. He was out doing parkour once they signed Baker Mayfield. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't look like a parkour kind of guy, but that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm good. Um, All right. What's the, uh, what you thinking? I don't know. The Carolina Panthers are pretty much a mess. Um, they, Bring they, your brooms. They could, they could be selling off everybody. Um, DJ Moore thoughts. Uh, <laughs> benched. I mean, well, definitely benched. benched. Yeah. I mean, benched. it's time to fucking panic though. Right. What do you do with this man in dynasty? You wait till he's got a quarterback. What was wrong with what him? What was wrong he, with Wentz? What was wrong with him? I mean, well, that's what Baker's supposed to be. Is Wentz. Well, he's not. No. Well, I mean, we've been wait. How long do you have to wait? There hasn't been Baker hasn't supported a rece- uh, wide receiver one. I don't think his entire career. I mean, DJ Moore got in the microphone two weeks ago and was like, "I can't catch the ball if you don't throw it to me." <laughs> yeah, if something ain't right. Well, I don't know why I'm not getting the ball. He's an unrestricted free agent this year. We need yeah. DJ Moore's. Di- I thought they re-signed him. DJ Moore is a. Huge buy. We need we need uh, DJ Moore's a huge buy. We need DJ Moore's Wolf. dad. We need DJ Moore's dad to. Uh, That's exactly why it's a huge buy. A uh, big... uh. No, look, the player's good. Oh, what what has he done to not be any? I mean, is he good? The whole team's a he, he's fire. he's locked up for for two more years. No, oh. they resigned him. Yeah. They did. Great chance to scoop DJ Moore on the cheap. Yeah, no, I, I, Matt suggested a buy this low. Is how you fucking play we, the game. We got in a little now uh, DJ Moore. Jay Wayne got in a dust up with some guy on really on uh, in the comments of YouTube about about DJ. I said Moore. I would trade DJ Moore for Traylon, and he was like, "Yikes, you really don't know what the shit you're that's talking not a about." Terrible trade, yeah. No, I mean that's that's. I said I would trade DJ Moore for some for beans. Value. Like if you got some, be- I don't even like beans. Like, <laughs> let me get something for DJ Moore because Jay Wayne's off the DJ Moore train. Well, I can't do it because I've been on it for like fourteen years now, and I just can't get a return on investment. He's not outperformed his ADP literally one time ever. That's wide receivers cannot throw themselves the ball, Jay. Well, but look, I mean, how long you got to wait for him to get a quarterback? He's not outperformed his ADP. He went he's thousand, been drafted he's high. Been thousand yard receiver the first three years of his career. 
He's been drafted high in Dynasty because he was a 20-year-old wide he's receiver that could still, run. I think he's 25 or 26. He's 25 years old. He's been in the league five years. He came in like, it's like how Amari Cooper knowing style. how old people are, but he's, he's got right a, he's got got good eyes. <laughs> he's six foot 210. I got good eyes. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I, I tend to mostly agree. Right now, you can't be fucking with DJ Moore. And if you could, if I could, if I could trade him for... A Traylon Burks, I wouldn't be. Yeah, I wouldn't got no be problem with that. You trade, with that. Trade him, trade him down to the twenty-year-old, twenty-one-year-old guy, and restart the clock. And for another equally, he's a first-round receiver, Traylon Burks, a guy who's supposed to be, you know, baby AJ Brown. Like, Not gonna lose. I don't think he'll lose a ton of value off of having a bad start to a season and then going on IR. Traylon Burks, that is. No, is it like year IR or no, three weeks no, IR? Turf toe. Yeah, three or four weeks IR. Not because so, sometimes you're like he had been putting up the metric kind of numbers that everybody likes to see, but yeah, it hadn't been coming to fruition just yet. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, yeah, it's just been a terrible situation. He's been OK with some some bad quarterbacks. And, you know, now your Matt rules out of there, which I actually thought the Matt rule thing would be a good thing, but it hasn't. It's been I absolutely too. awful. I thought it was supposed to be good. I um, thought it was going to be good. So we sh- we're going to kind of when they guard. Fucking Travis Kelsey. That's four goddamn touchdowns. Like he was wide open. Maybe guard Travis Kelsey. Is, nobody you know? near him. You could you could try to guard Travis Kelsey. Do this they, is the only guy they want to throw it to. Sorry. I, all of a sudden, you know, we, we talk about this a lot. We don't know what Carolina is going to end up with their record, but I can't imagine it's going to be Not very good. Good. I mean, they could potentially have the first pick. They're going to be in the top three. It'd be C.J. Stroud. They're going to be all right. All of a sudden, C.J. Stroud comes to town. How do you feel about D.J. Moore? Still stinks. I, well, I don't think he stinks. I I I I don't know. I mean, his I'm points per game has gone down him. every year. It was like 15, 14, 13, and now they're they're definitely down further than they've ever been. I get that it's yeah, not his right? fault, but how long can you just keep saying it's not someone's fault before you fucking wow? Don't need to. Do we need to? All right, so we need to lay it out for you. <laughs> Cam got old. His arm fell off. His neck broke. His arm was no good. His legs were no good because he was playing like Josh Allen for a decade. I understand it's D- not his you? fault, but is it? Like other wide receivers in the league produce without good quarterbacks. It fucking happens, and he's supposed to be I mean, this he's, stud. He's been he's been producing for what has been around him. Like it's been it's been fine enough. It's been pretty okay. It hasn't been pretty like, okay. Hasn't been elite, but I mean, but by, where you have to draft where, him? No, but that's not true anymore. This year he, he was. Plenty cheap enough to be okay with drafting him. Now, are you getting the return on investment this year? No, certainly not. No, you um, haven't any years. That's been it's point. been pretty close to around where you drafted him to your ADP. <laughs> really hasn't been that as bad as you're making it out to be. Um, but I, I agree. I could see I could see pl- a, a little buy low window here. But you, Jay Wayne is 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 no, out, thanks. so that's okay. Big Co's in. You probably can't get anything for him right now. You can't. I mean, sell you definitely, him. you definitely can't get anything for him. But last you, year, week one, six for eighty. Week two, eight well, for that, eighty. The Sam Darnold eight for those first three weeks for Sam eight Darnold for one hundred and twenty. Bro, gangbusters. Jesus Christ! You get a little bit of momentum on the team, and the Panthers have been fucking horrible. That first three weeks with Sammy D, or first four weeks with Sammy D, was. There you go. And so, so all of a sudden. It wasn't. A, it was DJ Moore doing all that work? Sam Darnold got hurt then, right? Yep. Sam Darnold blew his shoulder off, went on IR, never came back all year long, and the mixed in quarterbacks. And then Teddy Bridgewater comes to, was in was in town. He decides that uh, what's his name? Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson's the best thing ever. So he peppers him with a hundred receptions. So DJ Moore can only catch the balls that come his way. I'm buying the shit out of DJ Moore right now. Yeah. I didn't realize. I didn't obviously. I didn't realize that the hate was out. I mean, obviously the Panthers. Well, suck. I, th- I think that's part of his rationale is I don't think the hate really is out there, and I think and and he ke- basically he keeps kind of getting a pass a little bit to be that he's one of the upper echelon players, whereas it's the ADP slowly been working down as well. So it's you know it's at least stayed somewhat where it kind of should be, and I think that's Jason's reason for being upset is like I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for him to be I just top I just, billing of what of what been was left at the altar here the bill of goods that was sold to you I have not uh, been winning with DJ Moore where I drafted him 
I have he hasn't helped me win. I I just don't want to. I just I don't hate too many players. I don't hate DJ Moore. I just don't want to deal with him anymore. I just don't want to. I I don't like. I guess if you could get him cheap enough, you know, that's as with any player. But I just I've been scarred. You know, I just been uh, so been, two buys a hold and then sell when you can. For, you can't for, sell him. I know that's. What I can't said, get fucking said, anything for him. A hold and then yeah. sell when you can. You're never gonna be able to sell him. Uh, Maybe if you get CJ Stroud next year, I'll buy him. Yeah. Um, all right. Anything else you guys want to talk about? You got some questions? Anything? Got a bunch of questions up in here. Been trying to star them up. Uh, haven't gotten to them. I've been slacking. Obviously. Okay. So we. we 20, Josh 20, Jacobs is good though. Twenty twenty. Week one. Four for fifty. Week two, eight for 120, two for 65, four for 40, four for 100 and a touch, like, five for 100. Say what those numbers are. Those aren't great fantasy points. Like, there was like a 10, a 12, a four, an 8 in there, wasn't eight there? Eight for 120 is 20 points. Okay. Four for 50 is nine. Uh-huh. Two for 60 is eight. I uh-huh. get it. Eight and nine. Four for 100 and a touch, that's 16. Five for 100 is 15. Four for 90 and two touches. Like, yeah, yeah. He's and spotty. he was probably drafted as the wide receiver six that year. What? That's your fault. Uh, 20, 2020? Just saying. I haven't drafted him 2020, at all. 2020. Four for 100 and a touch. He was Seven for 127. That's decent in my book. I, I think the, he might have probably the highest drafted he had been was maybe like his first or second year in the league. Probably second year because he was supposed to be awesome. But, I mean, I get what Jay's saying, but the way he's saying it and how hard he's going in. He's like, Bo, is, nobody's been good on the Panthers for five years except for Christian McCaffrey when he's healthy. And DJ Moore's been good enough for some weeks. Most weeks. Sometimes. We have been dying for a wide receiver in the league that we have DJ Moore in. That's just what I'm saying. Well, for sure. I mean, and that's... And it that's, don't even have to start three of them. That's half PPR. So everything he does gets cut in half in that league. It doesn't well, feel nearly we, as we good have for a anybody. League with DJ Different Moore league, but... As well. But that started up two years ago, and he's... But and nobody can well, throw that the ball. one too. I'm even thinking about that. You can't league. play DJ Moore right now. Nope. Uh-uh. But you can buy him. I agree. I'm right. just saying. I went through and found a whole lot more games than what Jay Wayne is describing is what his output is. Yeah, and this this year it hasn't been good. Nope. Got to get. It ain't been that George good. Pickens coach just got fired. <laughs> can't be that good. Got to get George Pickens if you can get him. I don't, I don't think you can do that. That's that's not even. You can't. Yeah. Um. Let's you get, know, there might be a DJ Moore truther to give you pickings for DJ Moore, and you got to take that trade all day long. You got to take pickings. Yeah. Reset the clock. Just get just get a handful of beans. Maybe one of them could be magic. <laughs> get rid of DJ Moore. <laughs>